Chocolate. All right, guys, to make this mixture, the only things you're going to need is water, of course, an applicator bottle, and your choice of tea. Now, the reason I say your choice is because, as you can see, I have the options between black tea and green tea here, and that's just because black tea does have a higher caffeine content in it. It is recommended if you've never done this before or if you have low porosity hair to use green tea instead of black tea. But for the purposes of this very first week of experiments, I'm going to be using black tea and I will talk to you guys a little bit more about that towards the end of the video. So basically all I'm doing here is going ahead and steeping my tea. All you're going to need is um, anywhere from one to six cups of water and anywhere from three to eight bags of whatever tea you want to use. So I only let the tea bags actually boil in the water for about three minutes and then I turned off the heat and just let the tea bags remain in the water, cool down and steep overnight. So again, obviously the less amount of time that you actually steep the tea bags, the less strong the product is going to be. The next morning, depending on how long you let your product steep, you're going to get a product that looks something like this if you used black tea. Now, just keep in mind, if you go ahead and use green tea, your product is obviously not going to be that dark. I originally had filmed this as a talk through part, but I decided that I wanted to go ahead and voice over this one because... <laughs> I just was not expecting what happened at the end of this video. And number two, just because um, it was just kind of all over the place. I had a lot going on with this video. Like this video was a struggle, okay? So basically at this point, obviously my hair is already shampooed. If you guys have not seen my shampoo slash summer curly hair routine, just check that video out after this one. I'll have it linked in the description box. And my hair is clean and I also have a base of just a detangler conditioner on my hair to simply help me work through my hair. You guys know I do not detangle my hair until after my deep condition stage. So at this stage, my hair is not detangled at all. Also, because I've actually done black tea rinses on my hair before in the past, I have done quite a few black tea rinses on my hair when I was transitioning. I can't even remember if it worked, but what I can remember is that it can give the feel um, or the impression somewhat of like a protein treatment. I just always felt like it made my hair feel very strong, okay? Not strong, strong, okay? It can make your hair feel a little hard or a little dry, especially if you have low porosity hair. And that's just the caffeine. Again, that's what I was mentioning in the beginning of this video. You know, um, if you already know that you have that low porosity hair that can tend to be kind of protein or caffeine sensitive, um, I definitely suggest, you know, maybe going ahead and doing the green tea. But for experimental purposes, like I said, I wanted to try the black tea first. And because I kind of know what my hair can handle, um, I really don't mind, you know, every now and then, you know, some strong hair, okay? <laughs> so basically, you know, it's self-explanatory at this point. That's why I kind of wanted to voice over so I can give you some additional tips on just the process and choosing the best method for you because the actual process in applying black tea rinses, any kind of rinses in your hair is really simple. <laughs> it's liquid. You'll put it on your hair, sis, bro cousin <laughs> okay um basically what i do and the reason why i suggest you get an applicator bottle not this one okay this was an old bottle from a product that i did not like and i don't like the spray bottle either okay i just don't like it <laughs> i actually recommend getting an applicator bottle with you know one of those um squirt 
like scalp nozzles. I didn't have any on hand that I didn't have product in that I really liked. Um, but I recommend doing that just because I really recommend that you make sure that you get this product on your scalp and like at your roots as well just because your hair sheds you know from the roots okay if your hair is shedding from the ends that's not shedding sis that's breakage okay <laughs> One of the ways that you can tell if it is actually shed hair is that if you actually analyze the piece of hair or a strand of your hair, you will be able to usually see the bulb where it came out from your actual scalp. After I've applied it all to my like roots and really massaged it into my roots, I spray it down the ends of my hair and then I actually go over the sink and pour the entire product over my hair. So I use up every, the entire bottle every single time. I'm not saving it. I am gonna do this over a course of a few weeks, but I do not save it because I do not want it to get stronger. So after my deep condition, I am finally ready to detangle my hair and we can just go ahead and assess, you know, where we are on week one with this shedding and, you know, where we need to go. Now, <laughs> another reason why I did not, I decided to go ahead and film this as a voiceover because I had a whole intro where I was telling y'all my hair don't even shed a lot. I really don't deal with a lot of shedding. I feel like my shedding is normal. <laughs> and then I started detangling my hair y'all after this process and I, I got confused <laughs> real quick. I was like, oh my God, is this product making my hair shed more? I will go ahead and say that when I was rinsing the black tea out, my hair did feel like it did feel strong. It did feel kind of hard. So that's why I definitely wanted to follow up with a super moisturizing deep conditioner. I did use the deep conditioner by Mish Beauty and that just helped to bring my hair right back to its softness. So here my hair just feels, you know, really soft like it normally does when I deep condition and I don't, you know, I didn't feel Feel like any harsh side effects immediately from using the black tea. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish detangling my hair and I will say that a couple of clips in this video you are going to see me look real confused at some of this shedding that I'm having going on in this video and originally I was like oh know about this blank tea it's making my hair shed more but then I remember that um <laughs> I really just chose a crazy week to start this experiment because um this was the week that I was on my cycle and my hair does tend to shed more when I'm on my cycle and this is all the shedding that I had from detangling both sides of my head and um it is a little bit more than normal I will go ahead and say that it's definitely more than the shedding that I get on a regular basis but I do feel like that is just because of hormones um it's definitely not because of the black tea rinse just because I haven't had <laughs> the black tea in my hair long enough it's something that you have to do over the course of a few weeks to see if it works for your hair so that's exactly what I'm going to 
do. I am going to make this a series, the tea rent series. So I am going to be testing out in real time if black tea helps to lessen your shedding. I'm going to be experimenting with different, you know, mixtures and amounts and strengths and things like that. I'll even do a green tea rinse. So if this was your first time visiting my channel, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the upcoming videos. And if you are an OG cousin, make sure that you speak down below. Everybody thumbs up the video and I will see all you guys in the next upload.